Hi, uh, now we are going to see the lake uh, tool path. Plunge uh, tone and plunge contour tool path we are going to see. First we will see plunge contour, then we will see the plunge turn. So now we will make the stock setup. Properties. From, make from two points. Uh, diameter I change to 40 uh, Length I will change it to 250 Ok So for holding Ok Review You can see the preview now, uh, but I think the diameter need to be uh, increased. So I will delete the holding, then I will modify my, I will change the diameter to 50. Okay. Now it is okay. Better you can keep uh, 50 only here. Then now go for clamping. Okay, I'll select another point now. Okay. Now, now the question is, the job is little bigger, so it need to be supported. So I am just going to add the tail stock here. So the position, uh, so if you see exactly uh, the center bit must have be already uh, drilled here, then only you can position the uh, tail stock correctly. So assuming that uh, we have done already uh, the center bit, okay, we will see in the top view. Uh, first of all, we will machine, so I will go here. So this is the contour cycle, it look like a, a pattern repeat cycle, uh, start point from here to, so here, ok. So I am taking a 55 degree uh, tool uh, or uh, point 4, the advantage is uh, the plunge roughing it's a very good uh, tool because uh, it will not uh, hit anywhere and uh, smoothly it removes the uh, grooves material in the grooving kind of environment so I will give the name for the tool I selected so whatever the parameters are the standard parameters you can provide So depth value you can give here, offset distance. The same all other parameters are accepted. If you want to keep stock you can keep. So minimum cut is 2 mm. So this is uh, air cut it is. You can switch on lead in lead out. Actually, we need to plunge here. So, lead in angle 135 dA, it will be a good. So, in plunge parameter, you need to select the second one. Ok, accept. So, now you can see that smoothly it has generated the toll path. So, you can just back plot and see how it is look like while cutting. So, when you are receiving some uh, cost casting, uh, only a small amount of material is needed to be removed to finish. So, in that situation, you can use this uh, contour recycle, uh, contouring method. So, that, uh, so this is the lathe rough contour cycle. Okay, lathe rough contour. 
now we have seen this all other parameters similar to the previously what we have seen here the tool selection and uh, method and i added one more tail stock nothing remaining things are similar or same as uh, previous uh, now i will delete this tool path we will go for uh, plunge turn we are, we are going to take the plunge turn is uh, so now i select uh, from there that point to this point so for this tool path uh, tool or uh, should be a flat and 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 otherwise so you can see that the tool should be a flat so here if it is flat means it will not accept because uh, it's a profile no so we need to so you can see that many parameters not visible here how much depth of cut you need back of stock to leave all these parameters you can modify in depth you can modify the remaining cutting methods exact you can give feed rates uh, here mm, all the feed rates if you want a modification in the uh, original feed rate you can provide here so it's mm per revolution or mm per minute okay you can say okay now you can see that you can back plot and see how it has at the material this is the transit turn to path okay so next to tool path is the prime tool path prime turning tool path this to create tool path for the uh, for sandwich for uh, it's for the particular application so now we are not uh, going to cover this uh, uh, this two things so so the left out is the uh threading tool path so we will see only thread tool path so can cycle and the thread tool path only we are going to do so first we will see the thread tool path then we will see the can tool path thank you